See this tiny file? It's barely a few kilobytes, but it's secretly turning your powerful M3 Mac into a sluggish Windows 95. Let's fix this, but first, make sure to like and subscribe. I installed Adobe Photoshop on this MacBook, opened a high-resolution image to test it out, and added some fancy filters. Now look at this, my processor is at more than 90% load. This Mac is struggling big time. Like most graphic design and photo editing apps, Photoshop deals with huge files and heavy workloads, so it eats up a lot of memory. That's completely normal. But if you want to avoid this mess, here's a great app to check out. Clean My Mac gives you a free seven day trial and even Apple calls it one of their top 25 amazing apps for 2025. There's a feature called Performance, which lets you shut down hidden apps that don't even show up in your applications folder. You can find them in the tabs Login Items and Background Items. So you only need to click Scan and it will show you what to do. Just sign up for the free trial and get access to all 25 tools at no cost. And what about those tiny files that secretly slow down your Mac? They're called launch agents, little background processes that eat up resources. Before I show you how to keep your Mac running fast forever, here are three more apps that are major memory hogs. Final Cut Pro. Apple's Pro Video Editing software is optimized for macOS, but it still demands a lot of resources. Processing high-res video or 3D models is no joke. It eats up a ton of memory. Next, Google Chrome. Chrome is infamous for its high RAM usage because each tab runs as a separate process. The more tabs and extensions you have, the more memory they chew up. But if your Mac feels sluggish and you want to speed it up, I've got a full video breaking down the best tips and tricks. Check out how to speed up a slow Mac. The link is in the description. And let's talk about Parallels Desktop. This app lets you run Windows or other OSs on your Mac, but it needs a lot of RAM to do it. When you run a virtual machine, you're splitting your Mac's memory between the host and guest OS, so things can slow down pretty quickly. But finally, the magic trick to disable launch agents on your Mac. Most people never even check this setting, which means they have heavy-duty apps running in the background for years without realizing it. We've already covered which apps are the biggest culprits, now here's how to stop them from auto-launching. Open Finder, press Command Shift G and type tilde slash library slash launch agents. This folder contains hidden background processes, so if you find anything suspicious or unnecessary, move it to the trash. Then go to Settings, General, Login Items and check the list. If you see apps that don't need to start automatically, just select them and click the minus sign to remove them. Now for the final app on the list, Apple's official IDE for macOS and iOS development is a major memory hog, especially when compiling large projects. IDEs like Xcode require a ton of resources, and if you're working with a big code base, your Mac will definitely feel it. So if you're looking for an app that actually speeds up your Mac, check out Clean My Mac. Signing up takes just two minutes and you get a full seven days of free Mac optimization. Totally worth it.